This is a video on systems of equations. Just going to go over some basics. Uh, first of all, what is a system of equations? So in this case, what we have are two equations. And in each equation, we have two variables. And in each equation, they're the same variables. Um, so these particular equations, we have a linear equation in standard form. We have a linear equation in slope-intercept form. So the objective of a system of equations is to find any and all intersection points of those two equations as graphs. So in, in other videos, you might learn a little bit about how to do that using different techniques, but this is really just understanding. So we're looking for where this line crosses this line. But we're going to really take it back even one step further and, and just say, okay, is a particular point a solution to the system? Now, what that means is it makes each equation true. So we take the, the 1, 2... And we plug them in for x and for y. We can start with just one equation. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use the top equations. I'm going to say 5 times 1 minus 2 times 2. And I'm going to do that out using the order of operations. So this is 5 minus 4. That is 1. Now, in the original, it is equal to 16. Does 1 equal 16? No. So right there, it doesn't work. So that does not work. Let's try a different point. Let's try 4, 2. And maybe 4, 2 is a solution. So we're going to say, is 4, 2 a solution? So we're going to plug that in again. The 2 goes in for the y. The 4 goes in for the x. We have 5 times 4 minus 2 times 2. And we're going to check to see if that equals 16. Again, I'm using just this equation to start because it has to be true for both. And I'm going to try one. If it's true for that one, great. And then I'll try the other one. So let's just zoom way in on this. This is equal to 20. 2 times 2 is 4. And quickly we can figure out that 16 does equal 16. So this is true. This is true for that first equation. All right. We're off and running. But if we look at the other equation, y equals 2 thirds x plus 3. We'll do that in a different color. y equals 2 thirds x plus 3. And again, we're going to plug in the 4 and the 2. Let's we'll see if this is a true statement or not. 2 equals 2 thirds times 4 plus 3. Well, guess what? I can, I can already tell that 2 is not equal to this because we have a positive number here and we're adding 3 to it. But let's just finish it off. This is going to be 8 thirds plus 3, which is actually the same as 9 thirds, 2 does not equal 17 thirds. Okay, so this would have been false for the second equation. Now it just so happens that I know the solution, so let's try one more point. So is 6 comma 7 a solution? So we have 5x minus 2y equals 16, and then later on y equals 2 thirds x plus 3. I think this is a solution. I thought it was, but let's, let's check it out. So 5 times 6 minus 2 times 7 equals 16. That's 30. That's 14. 30 minus 14 is 16. That is true. Again, 7 for the y, 6 for the x. 
a little cross canceling here. Seven equals the six reduces down to a two. The three is gone. Two times two. Seven equals seven, and that is also true. So we have a solution right here. Six, seven is a solution. So we would say yes. The other ones would be no. It has to 